led against the sweeping beauty of Imperial China at the legendary Shaolin Temple, birthplace of the martial arts. <laughs> A foreigner has never been privy to the secrets, the magic, or the mystery. I want to be a monk. <laughs> that is until Drew Carson decides to become a Shaolin monk, humiliated in a national tournament. Shaolin Temple to learn Kung Fu for revenge. Once Drew's inside, it's not all fun and games. A Shaolin fighting monk in training does not ask questions. He just obeys. But slowly, Drew begins to understand the hard lessons of Shaolin. <laughs> Accepting the training and the responsibility for his life. At the beginning of your training, you won't obey without question. Now, as you become a Shaolin, you must learn to question everything. And obey yourself. Drew learns that the martial arts teach many things, but not revenge. Drew Carson, the first foreigner to ever become a Shaolin monk, graduates from the temple. When a ghost from the past shows up, challenging all that he has been taught, all that Shaolin means, and Drew has to face it. I want the American Shaolin! Drew is forced to fight for justice and for Shaolin, and there's no turning back. City of the exotic, the sensual, the extraordinary, the forbidden. You can't do this to me. You have no right. This is Thailand. A land where the streets are a jungle. And the jungle is a war zone. Where survival is a lesson in death. And death is a way of life. Raging thunder. Welcome aboard, boys. Terry, what are you doing here, you witch? Good chow and no bounty hunters, huh? It's the last time I have dinner with you. Three fearless adventurers. I vote we head back. You don't get a vote. You're just long for the cheap laughs. The risks don't scare them. The odds can't beat them. And nothing is going to stop them. Come on! But now, the only woman he ever loved will lead them to an enemy they have never faced. We ain't talking kidnap. Tell me who sent you. We talking war. And the mission to save a life Look out! becomes the battle to free a nation. Raging thunder. The fortress is impenetrable. The opponent 
Gods are unpredictable. Get the tower second class. I will send you by helicopter. The commander is invincible. But they are unbelievable. If they can just stand each other. What if I don't wait around? Then you'll never see Lover Boy again, and I'll blow you out of the water. The enemy doesn't stand a chance. Raging Thunder. The storm that warriors are made of. to present our Russian brother, Eastern Europe's most feared martial artist, Ivan Krasinski! Karate, the world's deadliest game, is being kicked apart by the syndicate's Soviet mean machine, leaving only one man left to stop him, Jason Stilwell. You've been fighting again. So what? You know how I feel about fighting. Yeah, I do. You're scared to death of it. Jason believed in the way of the dragon, but others didn't. Eat me up. Don't worry, I'm nobody's lunch. Can you force my hand? An example must be made. You see? Sensei Lee, you have to help me! Then one day, the dragon returned. You know, you asked me to come. Treat No Surrender is a martial arts masterpiece. Never before has unarmed combat been displayed as powerfully as in this pugilistic ring of death. You're good. I get better. Produced by Eun Si Yun, the creator of Jackie Chan, and directed by Corey Yun, a superb action choreographer. No Surrender was Jason Stilwell's bottom line. Welcome to the Super Fights. Budokai, Dark Cloud, Rasputin, Night Stalker, and Angel. A world Jack Cody dreamed of. Trained for. Ah, time for super fights. Hoped for. I'd like you to meet my favorite super fighter, Angel. Angel became his trainer. I'm a real slave driver, Jack. <laughs> The super fights are a world of glitz, glamour, blood, and violence. An all-American hero. 
Jack, the all-American hero, started winning, and winning easily. You're not winning to fight. They're losing. But all was not as it seemed. Bullshit! I'm a great fighter! Super fights became much more than the world's most popular pay-per-view event. And now he's Robert's personal killing machine. Please. The super fights made Jack Cody's dream come true. Now it's turning into a nightmare. I gave you a future. Now I'm going to take it away. There comes a time in every man's life to stand up for what's right. For Jack Cody, that time is now. Jack Cody was trained to be a super fighter. Now his very survival is on the line. He has to be better than all the super fighters. It's up to him to take them down. In mysterious Thailand, the home of the world's deadliest sport, when the cameras roll, death awaits. Do it once, huh? At least it evens the odds a little. Interpol paid me a visit today, asked about a loan out. And you lucky stiff, I'm going to send you over there. But where's over there? My luck, it'll be Jersey. No, it's better than Jersey. Thailand. <laughs> Deaths of these films are for real. That's where the action and the market is. Business is very good, but to meet the demand, somebody has to get killed. A New York cop becomes part of this secret world in the steaming jungles of Thailand. Masquerading as a fighter, he is really on a mission of vengeance. <laughs> me with that. Thai proverbs say success come through pain. It's been 10 years now and death is just around the corner. I'm ready to face it. I don't fear it. And you stand a chance against Khan. Encountering the most deadly enemy. There's no winner or loser. Only life or death. <laughs> to conquer this enemy, he has to learn to enter the ring without fear, completely and totally ready to die. <laughs> One man will leave the ring alive, and he will be the king of the kickboxers. From Washington, D.C. to Miami, Florida, a trail of bloodshed runs across the whole country. An act of terrorism 
threatens every American citizen. Even the Stars and Stripes is challenged. Now it's a final encounter. <laughs> Two brothers are trapped in a private mission. Anybody tries anything and he dies. And they push their country to the brink of extinction. Blood Brothers. <laughs> you're a spy, cut that out. I might respect you more. They're professionals. <laughs> they're brothers. <laughs> but they're oil and water. They'll never mix. The only man who can bring them together is their father. 5110 is not lucky. I'm retired. With these people, that doesn't mean anything. Revenge doesn't retire. Who is viciously executed oh, by a terrorist. Yeah. Now they want their revenge. To the revolution. To the revolution. My brother is nothing like you. No. Your brother is dead. Alone, they're a handful. Together, they're unstoppable. They're out of their depth, outnumbered, and almost out of time. But little do they know, they've been set up, and the fate of the entire nation is on the line. is gonna die tonight. Well, no witnesses, no fingerprints, just plenty of blood and guts. A high-tech killer who fights only the best. This makes it number four, right? A cop in way over his head. A mind hunter brought back just for this case. You're just gonna hang around here? You quit the force because you were scared. Asshole. I'm gonna call it a night. You can skulk around here all you want. You guys are always sending the brothers in first. Chuck and Ken. Reluctant partners that don't get along. But once they become targets, they have to work together to stay alive. uses the computer to play with Ken and Chuck. Why are you killing? <laughs> it's a game to see who will win. You two or me. I'm a target. I tell you he's trying to write the killer's name. It is almost a game to the killer. The killings are getting more brutal and closer together. Kid! 
In order to catch the killer, they have to go way beyond the law. Tonight.